Okay, next topic for year seven is place value. So place value part one, let's have a look at these questions. Write down a five digit whole number that has a four in the thousands place and seven in the tens place. Well, if we think we have units, so the first I'm going to put down a unit, any number I want, which is the three. Um, you could have chosen zero all the way up to nine. And then I know the next column is the set is the tens. So I'm got to put my seven in the tens column. So there's the ones for the units is the tens column. The next column is the hundreds. So I can do any number from zero up to uh, nine again. So I'm going to put zero this time, he says. So there's zero. And then the next column is my thousands. And where I've got to have a four in there. And it then says a five digit number. So in fact, the next column is the ten thousands. Any number I like, not a zero though this time, because I need it to have five uh, digits. So I'm going to have this number. So I'm personally going to have 64,073. Uh, 64, as long as I've got that 4,070 in there, I'm okay. Right, write down the number that is 10,000 more than 9 million. Well, if I look at 9 million, that's nine with six zeros. And then 10,000 is in the units, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousands column. If I add those together, I end up with four zeros, one. So nine, nine million and 10,000 looks like that. And we usually put those commas in to help us like a work out the size of the number. Right, complete the statement using less than, greater than or equal to. 2.5 million is 2,500,000, which is more than 250,000. Um, 0 0.351 and 0 0.36. The easy way of comparing these is by having the same amount of decimal places. So if I've got three decimal places on both, 351 is less than 360. That's the way that I do it. Six hundredths. Six hundredths is six over a hundred. Um, I could convert this into hundredths. So I could say that this is 60 hundredths by multiplying them both by 10. So I can see the one on the right is bigger. Or I could write this as a decimal. Six tenths is 0 0.6. Six hundredths is 0 0.06. And of course, the same as the one before. If I make the decimals the same, the 60 is bigger than the 6.